Hi there, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this messy Chingo compliant beret design and we're making it without glue. Now the advantage of making use of needle and thread without instead of gluing as most people usually do is that one, you can change the design later if you want to without spoiling the beret and two, it lasts, you won't see it coming off. But before we get into that, I would like to say a big thank you to all our subscribers and for those just joining us you are most welcome to the Ventcraft channel. We hope to say thank you in our next video because we are sure you would click that subscribe button and everyone please do ensure you like, comment and share this video. You'll be needing scissors, then your fishing line. And that's 3.35 mm with your needle of course then you'll be needing your beret i actually went out to get this said this is the authentic one um, so to see so let's see how it goes and this is how it's packaged I actually got this one initially to make the black beret because she wanted three different colors black red and cream but she finally changed and let and said let her start off with red first of all so i had started this video first of all although <laughs> i was wondering how would i have used those black accessories now nah, it won't go for with black so anyway this was how it started before we finally got what was done then this is my brush i was thinking i would also need that container many things i'm thinking i'll need isn't it then that stiffener in there not top bond then i put my b6000 i didn't need it i just put it there then we have this flowers lovely flowers so you see how we're changing our trimming so you can change your trimmings so it doesn't look like what was put in the market and that's that big one then of course we'll be needing this pretty lady okay so the first thing this particular trim is if you dust it shake it you will see the stones on it falling off so what you do to ensure the stones stick this is the trick give me a thumbs up a like a comment or shout everything because of this trick if you didn't know it before and if you did tell me I knew it okay so what I did was to take my brush and I'm going to, you saw how watery it was I showed you how the texture is so I'm using it all over this trimming because I want it to still be shining as long as the client wants to use that beret so that's what I did like so after I finished man I was like man it's too white so I took a foam and I started dampening it can you see it's changed it's not so white again all right so once that was done out to the sun you go now this is the red beret I told you I had to change the color and I'm trying to place it the way Messi Chingwe, Messi Chingwe normally places it on her head Although I noticed that most times she makes use of the student size, the small size, but this is the big size. So you need to find out from your client what size she needs, the big or the small. But this is the way she normally does it. Mm -hmm. Okay, did I get it? Let me know in the top. The, see, I'm shaking this up. I have to jump quickly to this. <laughs> All right, then. Um, so I'm going to cut out because I don't want to use the whole piece. There's a way I wanted to curve on the beret and this is too long. So that's what I'm doing. I'm covering it, cutting it off. Now I've taken one of those flowers and I'm going to use my fishing line to sew it to the trimming. So you're seeing how I'm transforming my trimming and making a new trimming. So with this trick, you can transform various trimming and give it your own style and make it stand out amongst everyone okay let's proceed so that's what i'm doing so before i was saying that if you think that the way i place it was like messaging on the mannequin head do let me know in the comment section below okay so i've done the first um flower and now i'm putting in the second flower and i'm sewing when i'm sewing what i'm doing is that i'm sewing it round so that it sticks properly and it's not hanging so you ensure that after you have sewn it's standing on it not that it's wobbling or shaking or any of that no it doesn't need to do that i hope you enjoyed this video i'm kind of excited this is my very first unique beret design okay so now i'm placing it where i want it to be and of course if you want to be able to get into position you need your office paints i didn't mention that in the beginning so please do take note you will need office paints to place it exactly how you want i wanted a little part to be dropping down like that to give it like a cool effect so i'm taking my office paints and i'm holding it in various positions before I begin to sew. 
you are enjoying this video so far thumbs up people like button subscribe do all you can to ensure that this video goes far and wide okay so the next thing now is to sew it now when you are sewing ensure that the big part of the sewing is coming out but it's not going to show so the way you're going to be grabbing the trimming you're going to be careful that you're not taking it to come out from the top no you're just taking part of it on the knit do you understand and when you're sewing you'll be checking to see where you, you need to hold so that's what i'm going to be doing all through let me take it again when you're sewing you're grabbing you're taking it okay see i'm opening it now so you can see you take it close to the um, part you just sewed so that it's not visible underneath there then you give a big gap and that big gap you're using it to collect the trimming but you're not taking the trimming to the extent that it will come out and start showing up no you're not doing that you're just grabbing it a bit lightly i'm sure you know what i'm talking about so and as you're doing you have to ensure you're checking it's holding because remember you're not taking also you might mistakenly do and it didn't hold hold it then you're going to be checking that every part of the trimming is held properly in position that there's no part that will be flop, flapping that you don't want to flap so that's what i'm going to do all the way around i'm going to allow you to enjoy the music while you watch and i'm sure as you watch you would get a hold of what i'm doing and then if you feel i did well and it actually looks like a messy chingo spirit please write in the comment section in capital letter at Messi Chinwo. Please, let's make this video go viral. And also, probably get attention from Messi Chinwo herself. What do you think? Oh, man, I would give you a big shout out. If I begin to start making her parent, that would be lovely. I don't mind, you know, and I'll really make her stand out. What do you think, everybody? I'm just thinking aloud. Okay, music time. <laughs> this messy chill pretty gorgeous beret design if you think it's great please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos and check out this next video ciao ciao